Hey Jackal, I'll show you how to make this modern laser text effect in the edit page by using the text and the text plus and also how to do it in the fusion page. Now let's get digital. You will need some kind of a clip, I'll be using this one, then you'll want to go to effects, type in text, I'll just put both text and text plus on, like this. I can now close the effects, now open the inspector tab, you can change the text. Now we have some differences between the text and the text plus. When it comes to a text, you can change individual color and also the highlighted size and all of the other options. When it comes to a text plus, you can't do that. So for instance, I would want this to be the same width. So I can't adjust the size, I can't adjust the tracking, as you can see, it changes everything. So we don't have any of those adjustments, but there is a positive side if you want to use it. Now to make this effect, we need an effect and we'll find it under the effects, open effects, type in transform. This is the transform that you want. The one difference is you can't put it on the text title, but you can put it on the text plus. To use it on the text, you'll have to right click and make a compound clip. This will be text CC. And once I have the compound clip, I can put the transform onto it. Now to make the adjustments, the effects tab opened up and the setting that we need to animate to get the effect is under the crop. So enable it and we'll be using this option. Now currently nothing happens and that's because we need to go to the advanced option, change the edge behavior from transparent to replicate. You can also use reflect and wrap around to get a different kind of effect but for this one, you need to choose replicate. Ideally, you will only adjust the crop from one side, be it left, right, top or bottom, but you can also adjust it from two sides, so maybe from left and top, but this can give you this kind of a mess, so that is what you don't want, but you can do it from maybe left and right, or from top and bottom. So then you will get to maybe halfway point, in this case, it looks nice, but you can have issues, maybe something like this. If you get an issue like this, simply go over the half waypoint. Now in this case, I don't have to do that. Now in the text plus, I didn't need to make a compound clip out of it. So let's go to image adjustment, crop, advanced options, and change the edge behavior to replicate. Make a simple crop. I'll also go to the half waypoint. Usually the issue comes apparent when you have just one letter in the middle. So as you can see, this is the case now. And usually nothing happens when you adjust the right crop. So that is why you adjust just the left one to get rid of any issues. So maybe this one will actually look okay, depending on how fast the animation goes. So how you do the animation. So maybe this is now the starting position of the animation if you want to start with the text as blank. Then maybe the animation will start at this point. I'll simply keyframe the crops. Now you can't use the keyframes here. These are not visible when you use this open effects transform. So you can only use the arrow keys once they appear to go to the position of the keyframe. So six seconds and 21 frames. And maybe in 10 frames, the animation will end. So let's see how it looks like. So if the animation is too quick, we can go to the keyframe, maybe go a couple of frames forward. So this is now 18 frames, keyframe the values, go to the previous ending and uncheck the keyframes. So now the animation is longer. Now I can do the same thing here. I'll just do it quickly and come back once I have it done. And this animation looks like this. Now to make this look nice, you could add some glow effect. Ideally, you could use the effects, type in glow, go to open effects and apply it. But once you do, the screen goes black and you would have to make extra steps to get this glow out. I don't want to do that. 
So what you can do, and the same goes with this one, you can apply it, as you can see it doesn't work. So what we'll do is go to the Fusion page, and I'll just show you that you need to make an extra step once you do. So type in glow, I'll apply soft glow. In the glow we can change the color. But once you come out, you have this issue. Now to fix it easily, what you can do, I'll just come back into the Fusion page, copy this node and delete it. So to fix this, what you can do is right click and make either a new compound clip or a new Fusion clip. And then once you go into the Fusion, I'll simply copy the effect. It's exactly as it was before. But now we don't have that issue of the glow showing up. And it's the same with this one. Except when you have the text plus, you can only make a new compound clip. Paste the effect in. And that's how the effect looks like. And now to make this effect completely in the fusion page, and maybe also make it into a template, let's go to the media pool, right click, make a new fusion composition, put it onto a timeline. Now in this case, if you want this effect to be specifically for the video clip that we're working on, what we'll want to do is use control space or shift space, type in media in, or you could just go to the media pool and put the clip on, like that. But if you want to use the media in, you'll simply go to the media source and instead of timeline, use background. But if you do that, this clip should be beneath the fusion clip, like so. As you can see now it's visible and before, because I didn't have anything in the background of the video clip, nothing showed up. So you can simply put the media in from the media pool, then you'll use the text node, connect it, type something in, make the adjustments as you want. Now all that you have to do is to make the effect. You might want to use this transform, this one is not it. Control space or shift space, type in transform and this is the one that you want. As you can see, it has exactly the same settings as the one in the edit page. Connect it, enable the crop, and also change the behavior to replicate, and we can now adjust the crop right. In this case, the effect doesn't go all the way till the end, and I would say this has something to do with the video resolution and the difference in my project settings. So what I can do, is use a background node, switch it around so it's in the back, and now the text effect goes to the end. Because now the project resolution, as you can see, is 2560 by 1440, instead of the 4K resolution that the video comes in. Now what you can also do, and you could also do this previously, is to use the rotate. So if that is something that you want, and to spice it up even more, you can use this option. So let's make the effect. I'll just use it from one side. And what you should also do is to adjust the crop just the right amount, maybe something like this, and don't go all the way till the end because the animation in that case will be a lot faster. So in my case, I'll go from this point, keyframe it. So in 10 frames, the animation will finish. And this is just about it. And if I would go all the way from 1, and maybe to 0, as you can see the animation looks like a mess. So just fine tune the values to get a nice looking animation. Then you will simply add some glowiness, and maybe other effects. I'll be using the soft glow. And then once you're done, you can simply disconnect the media and this merge and simply connect it to here. And before we see how it actually looks like in the edit page, we have to go to this background node and change the alpha to transparent, otherwise the background will be black. And this is how you can make a laser type text effect in the winter is all. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackals, keep it digital. Thank <laughs> you.